So there's a lot of vertical ergonomic mice out there. And the two main ones are the Logitech MX Vertical here and the Anchor Ergonomic Mouse. They're both really good mice and they both come from completely different places. The Logitech over here is more on the higher end side and the Anchor is more of a budget mouse. We as the consumers need to make a decision on which mouse we wanna get. Today we're gonna be opening both boxes weighing out the pros and cons of each to figure out which one makes sense to purchase. We have both of the ergonomic mice here and we're gonna start by unboxing the Anchor. As you can see, the box is very clean, very well designed. I love the way it feels, kind of like a cloth slash rubbery feeling. The mouse does have a forward button, a back button, extra button here, an on and off switch, the battery port, which takes two AAA batteries, a USB dongle, which slides right into the port here at the bottom of the mouse. To use the mouse, you need to plug this dongle into a USB slot on your computer. With this dongle, you're able to use the mouse both on Windows and Mac devices. If we flick the mouse on, you can see the little red light here, as well as a red light here that complements the design of the mouse. The back and forward buttons do work on Windows computers, but they do not work on Mac. The Anchor mouse doesn't have much customization options. The only customization options built into the mouse is this button right here, which is the DPI switcher. When you press it, there's three options. You have slow, medium, and fast for your cursor movement speed. There's no app or software you can download for this mouse, so you're gonna have to use it as is. Now let's hop over to the Logitech mouse. On the back, we have a few small details describing some of the features of the mouse. Here it says you have a 57% tilt angle, which helps with the muscular strain in your wrist. Here it says you will reduce your muscular strain by 10%. First impressions, it is much larger than the Anchor Mouse. I have medium sized hands and I could see that this is definitely made for people with large hands. It does have a forward and a backward button, extra button here as well. You can connect this mouse up to three devices and to switch between the devices, all you do is push the button. You can see the line patterns here which makes it very easy to keep your grip on this mouse. You may have noticed that there is no battery ports here. The way the Logitech mouse charges is through this port right here, which is USB-C. I like the fact that they put in USB-C here and they're moving towards the newer cable technologies. To charge the Logitech mouse, you're gonna have to use the front facing port here with the included cable. The great thing about the included cable is that you can use the mouse while it's charging if it's on low. And then when you're done charging the mouse, you would simply unplug it and put it off to the side somewhere and use it wirelessly. The charging on this mouse is extremely quick. With one minute of charging time with this mouse to the USB-C, you can use the mouse for up to three hours. And on a full charge, you can use the mouse for up to four months. Four months is a lot of time, so you will very rarely be using the included cable. There's two ways you can go about connecting the Logitech mouse to your computer. You can either use the included USB dongle, just like the Anchor mouse, or you can connect it via Bluetooth. So what are some of the pros and cons about the Anchor here and the Logitech? The thing I like about the Anchor mice over here is the size. The size feels smaller and for my medium sized hands, I feel that I, can, I have a better grip on the Anchor Mouse. As opposed to the Logitech, the Logitech Mouse feels like I'm grabbing a baseball or something huge. So if you're someone with mid to small hands, I would suggest getting the Anchor. So let's talk about the grip on both of the mice. The Anchor does have a more slippery feel to it and the Logitech is more grippy. I think that may be because of the line textures here. So in terms of grip, I would say that the Logitech is the winner here. Both mice do have the ability to connect via dongle to a computer. However, the Logitech has two options to connect. You get the Bluetooth and the dongle. Something cool that I like about the Anchor that the Logitech doesn't have is 
It has this little storage compartment here. So it's convenient in the sense that when you're traveling, you won't lose your dongle. It'll just be attached to the mouse. The Logitech, unfortunately, does not have a slot for the USB dongle to go anywhere. But that's not too big of a deal for the Logitech because if you're using the mouse with Bluetooth, you won't need the dongle at all. In terms of compatibility, the Logitech wins here. It works right out of the box on both Mac and Windows. You can use the back and forward button as well as this shortcut button, which you can assign to do whatever you want. You can make this button open up Windows applications, switch between tabs, pause and play your music, et cetera, et cetera. Anything you wanna do with this button, you can do it. And the only thing the anchor button does is switch DPI and you can't program it to do anything you want. So both of these mice are great, but which one should you get? It really depends on what computer you're using and what your needs are. If you're on Mac, I would not recommend the Anchor because the back and forward buttons do not work on Mac, which is kind of a bummer. However, the DPI switching does work on the Mac computer. If you're on Windows, all of the buttons are gonna work, the back, the forward, and the DPI switching. If you're on Mac, I would recommend getting the Logitech ergonomic mouse. In terms of price, the Anchor is the winner here, coming in at only $20. And the Logitech here is pricier mouse and it comes in at 60 to $70 depending on where you get it. So choosing the best mouse really depends on what computer you're using and what your budget is. If you're on a tight budget and you're on Windows, I would recommend the Anchor. However, if you want something more premium and you don't mind spending the extra cash, I would suggest getting the Logitech. The Anchor mouse will work with Mac, but like I said, you won't be able to use the shortcuts. So if not having shortcuts on a Mac is fine for you, then the Anchor mouse would work perfectly for you. So after using both mice, I've decided that I'm gonna use the Logitech vertical mouse. Reason, because I'm on Mac. I really like my shortcuts and I want everything to work normally for me. All right, that's been my review on the Logitech and the Anchor ergonomic mice. If you're planning to get a different mouse completely, let us know if there's anything else cool out there. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button. And if you want to see more tech videos in the future, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.